what up. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> shit. With the cops, but a hey. Right on. They stopped and searched the Pittsburgh Bay Point train. They stopped and searched the Pittsburgh Bay Point train? Yeah. Okay, so no, they were really after somebody. Um, they, like when we were running up the street with OPD, they specifically pointed at one guy and were like, let's go. And they were after his ass. I mean, because I was running right alongside him. So if they were looking to indiscriminately arrest somebody, they would have freaking, I mean, I was literally shoulder to shoulder with a couple of cops. And I would just like to state, I'm a big ass dude. <laughs> Not only that, I'm carrying like a 40 pound Ustream pack and a camera on a monopod. And I was beating OPD up the street. There were some of them that made it by me. They were running a little faster. They were a little bit embarrassed. But I was beating OPD up the street. Without a doubt. How's that for big, for big dudes and shit, huh? Occupy the gym, baby. <laughs> Occupy the gym. So we're looking right now at a group of Uh, three of them empty. Uh, officers Don't in an unmarked Ford Explorer. Um, uh, officers in these unmarked. There's like uh, there's four in this unmarked right here. And this is again 14th Street between Broadway and Clay. And then there's another that officer in an unmarked right here. And the paddy wagon. Oh, is that what that is? Well, it's not a blacked out paddy wagon though, so it's interesting. But it's actually a van full of cops. That's what it is. It's, what, damn, there's helicopters in that van. Helicopters. Um, anyways. Now we're oh, dude, dude, dude. Oh. Okay, even more cruisers. Even more cruisers. We're on 14th and Clay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, and let's go ahead and make a right. We can actually, we need to drop by my car. I can pick up another external. Right. My car's up here somewhere too. Okay, now we're walking down Clay towards 15th Street, towards 16th and San Pablo, where we heard on Twitter uh, they were gathering, preparing for a possible raid. Again, I'm one of those individuals that has learned his lesson with regards to rumors. So when I hear one, I do my best to validate for it. Yay! <laughs> Say hi to Susie underscore C Hello. on Twitter. Susie, Susie Cagle. Susie rocks. <laughs> intrepid journalist and cartoonist reporting on all things Occupy Oakland and Occupy San Francisco. Hi, Spencer's live stream. How do you feel about the evening? Uh, you know, I was homesick with Occuflu. Oh, God. And, uh, and I, I just turned the light on and I'm like, whoa, let me just take a step back. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Uh, and I, I just came down here about half an hour ago, um, so you might want to head over to about around the Internal Affairs Office. There's about 25 cops there. Um, over here too. Yeah. Um, Susie yeah. underscore C, S U S I E. Or yes, S U S I E underscore C. She uh, is constantly giving updates on uh, all things Bay Area and Occupy on her Twitter account. So follow away, intrepid journalist and cartoonist. All right, we'll see. We're going to keep going to a recon. Yeah, um, <laughs> you might also note that there are um, homeless people who are probably homeless people that lived here before Occupy was here, and they're in the plaza back again now, um, and I have to wonder if, if they're going to clear the plaza you know, tonight or any other night if those people are, would be swept up too. Unfortunate. Yeah. Unfortunate. Solidarity, yeah. brother. Solidarity. All right, we'll see, we'll see you around the yep. other side. Bye, right Susie. on. All right, later, Susie. So, Susie was actually arrested. Um, hey, was that the 25th you were arrested? That was October 25th you were arrested? November 2nd after the general strike. Okay, Susie was actually arrested November 2nd. Okay, right on. Susie was actually arrested on uh, November 2nd after the general strike. She is, uh, I believe, the only journalist to actually, the only you know, credential real journalist to actually be hey a cop car's parked behind my car arrested no wait that's not the car since uh you know this whole thing down here in oakland started uh there's been journalists arrested elsewhere of course but Susie was arrested uh here in oakland and as far as my like to my knowledge she's my the only credential 
legitimate journalist to be arrested. You missed my antennas. So, uh, yeah, another great person to follow on Twitter. Great updates, um, great information. Follow away. Um, and yeah, we're going to go ahead and check out right over here. This is 16th. Let's run across the street, grab my second external, and then we'll be back to recount these guys. Right over there, at 16th and Clay, about 25, 30 shots. So, the rumor on Twitter is true, which is an actual rare thing. <laughs> it's a very rare thing for a Twitter rumor to be true. But it is. All right. So we're just going to kind of walk real quick over to my car here, pick up another external battery. To replace the one that's dead. Yes, Jaywalk and the cops are in the cops are busy. I am not going to film my automobile. I do not want the crazies that are out there to know my license plate number. And believe me, we've picked up a few crazies in my life since we started U Street. So, and point the camera to the left. You have to get so close to him. You don't have to if you don't want to. I mean, Hi, Yell. Walking back to Ross for Grant uh, towards 14th and Broadway from where he crapped up the cops are hanging out. What do you so, think, about 30 or so? Yeah, I mean, I, my guess would be actually be like 40. I counted 40? like 25 or 26. And so. I just educated. Yeah. So there's a crap ton of cops at 14th and Clay at 16th and 16th.
so. Yo! How you doing, buddy? Alright, what's going on over there? A bunch of cops. 30 or 40. There's a bunch of cops at 14th and Clay and 16th and San Pablo. Crowd at OGP suggesting two dispersal groups. so I'm not really actually sure what the hell happened. But um, Tomorrow you'll know for sure when you wake up and they're all Tomorrow, bruised. yeah, I'll see. I'll see where the bruises are. Just go look, um, look back at the street. Josh might have a fracture. He's going to the hospital right now. That's, that's your guy that's always around you? Yeah. Okay. So. What's his last name and social security number? Yeah, right. <laughs> Birth date, <laughs> social. Da -na, da -na. Dox him, dox him. No, just kidding. Just kidding. Of course, no, don't dox him. The never, never, never. Dox the OPD. Yeah. <laughs> Please continue the doctor. We have not spread the sheet yet. He's going to work with you guys. Uh, so, L, if you're looking at home and Adam is looking for me, tell him, tell him I'm by the flagpole uh, with uh, Trooper Leela. Do you have a Twitter account yet? <laughs> can we please get you connected on Twitter so that we can have the entire world follow you? I'm oh my God. Hey y'all, she feeds people. Whatever you She's guys, wonderful. <laughs> whatever you guys saw tonight, I just wanted to really like just add a little ending here, which is that this is in direct response. This action was in direct response to what they have done to us in the past week and a half. This is not some random thing. People decided to go on the street and make trouble. This is a direct response from the community, which includes more than just Occupy Oakland members. Includes just Oaklandites coming out and seeing that their friends and loved ones are being arrested and put in, in, in prison under political prisoner conditions where they're separating each other, separating them into gang cells and shit like that. This is their direct response. This is what happens when you anger the public, you know what I mean? And so every time they keep on angering us, there's obviously going to be more and more anger on the streets and that they, they need to get that through their head and realize what to do in that situation. Call up the reps and OPD and fucking cause a fit because this is ridiculous. Yeah, everybody post the numbers to call the, call the, the police. Non-emergency police line. <laughs> Call them Throw a fucking up. fit and come and help because the more numbers we have, the safer we're gonna fucking do. Right on. Yeah. I thought for sure we were done when they kettled us on night. Oh right? yeah, we were like, I was like, okay. oh, we're all going to jail. Yeah. <laughs> same old, same old. <laughs> all right. Are you are you headed off? I'm gonna go get my car so I can take uh, Josh to Highland. We love it there. Right on. Right on. Well, give him give give him everyone's love. Okay. Right on. Take it easy. All right, so you're looking at the, uh, this is what there was used to be discussed in the police station uh, last week. Yeah. Sean Brockett, that was the badass like, thing. You know, uh, it was one of the bravest yeah. fucking things uh, you're ever looking at. Stood by those um, they had sour worm. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Sour worm? Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. In a way, yeah. I had a conversation. Yeah. Like, Almost gone, way, sour worm? But I don't want to be associated. Before they're is, gone. Is, is today the 8th? No, today's the... Kali's arraignment is on the 9th, and it's today's at 9 a.m. in Pleasanton. 7th? Uh, you can check it out on OccupyOakland.org. I'm sure they'll post the information. Uh, support Kali. Uh, again, he went into jail on the... He's changing his battery. Oh, okay. You got it then?
Symbolic TP. probably getting across really badly, but you know, at the same time, we're all trying to be peaceful people, changing our, our changing, it, changing it back to what our, our fathers had. I don't trust you. Our laws are really different now. The founding fathers have to work in the Look, he's that. got the plastic handcuffs out. Or don't, don't eat at all. Or? But the thing is, no, like, everybody... No. Perspective I've noticed that you guys have a lot of is the same as a lot of the community. You guys have more in depth because you deal with us, but you're dealing with the negative aspect of us because you're police officers. Oh, we're dealing with people out. that like light fires, break windows, throw rocks. That's bombs. not everyone. Those no, are I know, I know. That. I know that. I know that. But I said those are the ones that we deal with a lot, right? Right. But, but, but it, does that, does that constitute? We got, we got clubs coming. Like, you guys, yeah, are you guys making orders for us to do anything? Are you asking us to disperse? Because if you are, give us a chance to start making. How many people? How many people? I just, I told you. Know, you know, last time you were shooting tear gas. Now, but here comes the can. Oh, no, I know. You know, people go like, right. no, seriously, like, yeah, like okay. There's okay. Like there's oh, they're, they're probably right here because someone was throwing bombs. You actually, people, um, there's actually still people, um, um, being, I'm sorry, I lost my, uh, uh people being detained without, there's, there's people being detained from, uh, you know, from all the, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I get, uh, I'm so upset about it, there's people, uh, people are going to be able to be t detained from the, um, just the constitution, or the, the constitute of, not constitution, but the constitute of calling someone a terrorist. 
because of their affiliation with someone or because of their political interests. So you're, 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 you're in fear that if whoever's in power at the time, whether it be the Republicans or Democrats, if whatever group tries to throw them out, they can go back and grab them and say, hey, you're, you're against me, so now we have an, yeah. a, now we have an apolitical state. Yeah. The cases are I, I, well, kind of like what England did to Ireland when they started snatching up all the suspected right. IRA terrorists. Yeah. Exactly. They're taking them out of the country That's for up to 90 days. Authoritarian. Now, I didn't know that was sent into the law, so that's something I'd have to actually research. So not that I don't take your word for it, but... I mean, yeah, you should research it. Yeah. It actually has an attack on our rights. Yeah, go get him. Because they don't get hit. Because it doesn't matter, like, over the last 20-some years, who's been in office, whether it's been a Democrat or Republican, it's the same corporate forces that are sitting in lobbying the government to put things like the NCAA or whatever into the law. Like, anything they can to keep people under the control of the corporations where they're buying their goods and buying their gasoline and going on feeding, you know, into a system that can't sustain itself anymore. We can't, yeah, we can't, we can't sustain ourselves. We're not going to have oil at some point, and we don't have the infrastructure right now to deal with that when that day comes. Well, oil is definitely a fossil fuel, and it's going to end. Yeah, we are, yeah, and on this Similar but different. Right. Oh, that's that's, that's, that's an on, that's an ongoing topic we could discuss for days and days and days. I mean, that's well. That's why we're protesting because we don't want war anymore, and the government won't listen to us. We marched in San Francisco. In a perfect world, I mean, no one wants war. Unfortunately, but there's no, there's people somewhere. that do want well, war because war yeah, they make will, money off the wars, man. That's why we're at war. When I say nobody, I said the, the majority yeah, the of the 99%. 99 percent don't want to yeah, the 99. You're always going to have somebody in any country that's going to want to take someone else's stuff. But say, but say, uh, excusing things for utopian ideas is just giving power to the not action, uh, not taking action. Well, yeah, but utopian ideas and also as far as like communism, you know, communism doesn't work because why? What happened with communism? You think everything is going to be distributed equally, and it never is. That's a, that, that's that's the thing, though. It's not about communism. It's not about. No, I'm just talking. We're we're it's, we're, it's we're pulling about, different political yeah, ideas. It's 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 not. Um, someone's going to always one up someone else. Uh, it, it's about it's about just being organic in the sense that you're a human and you just dis, you disagree with some structure that's been put in your way and in, in the way of your neighbors. Taco truck. I think Oakland's kind of actually What's the taco truck? a lot of the a lot of the protests as well as a lot of this free speech. In fact, they've even shut down streets without permits for you guys to march, right? What about Scott Olson and my friends that were right there when he got hit in the head with a tear gas canister? Has, I, well, I can't comment on that because hasn't. that's under investigation and they haven't proven that either so which way. So the tear gas is accommodating? You know, it's also, no, it's also under suspicion that he may have been hit from behind in the back of the head. So I can't comment on it until they actually review all the video footage. Mm -hmm. But I don't... It, it, it kind of did, did, it kinda did hit him in the back of the head. He was running from the top. We were running and he just got bam. Well, I I, yeah. I don't condone we anything. Right we were right yeah. there. We yeah. saw it. We, we looked right back. There. And it was like, Bam! And there ourselves. was like sparks and, and we shit. It was crazy. And then when people went, ran to help Scott Olsen, like, they threw they a got, flash grenade, they threw man. Threw a flash grenade and rubber bullets at him. Yeah, it's all on tape. You can, well, you can YouTube that. You yeah. should YouTube yeah, you it. Just YouTube Scott Olsen. <laughs> I don't know if anyone ever. Well, I don't know. Well, you can see it. I can comment on the Oakland Police Department. We don't use rubber bullets. So. What? what? Or bean bags? Rubbers. Bean bags, we do, but I don't know if that <laughs> bean bag. What was that machine gun looking thing yeah, over there on Ninth yeah, Street? What was that? that? Machine gun. There was like, it like a machine gun looking like thing. Like somebody like, had well, a over-the-shoulder. That's a tear gas canister thing. That's a okay. tear gas canister. Okay, I wasn't there. Gun? Yeah, but they were shooting something. It was like, pow, pow. Was yeah. it an air gun or something? What, really? No, I'm not sure. I'd have to see it. I think it was, must have been like, bean bags. They said there was a... There was something getting fired into the air, and then... Some displays of large. There's like weaponry. A lot of video degree. footage of it. Uh, if you guys were there, did anyone get your names? As witnesses, you did you you said you saw it all, right? Did I get your name? Contact information? No. All right. Well, it's just it's an ongoing investigation. So if you witness, me, I'll give them my. 
I just asked you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Give it a second. It's all really crazy, you know? I guess it's a question. Trusting kind of a, a, a yes or no answer. It's, uh, it's, you don't have to. I'm just going to forge the investigators. It's, 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 like, it's sounded sneaky. It's all like... I don't know, everything like, was kind of blurry, you know, like, it's pretty fucking crazy. Uh, I mean, Alright, you know what, let's do it this way then, since you, you can, you can go to internal affairs if you want, it is an ongoing investigation. At any time that's best for you, your internal affairs is over there, just regular working hours, Monday through Friday. Yeah. Nine to five, that's so that way you're not giving it to that's the police officer. I mean, I'm not trying to ask you for information to yeah. do anything, so, but I just, just so you know. I mean, you know, as, as a police, as, as a police officer, I would like to tell you, not me, I'm not a police officer. As, <laughs> I understand what as, you're as, as a, as a police officer that I'm talking to, I really want to talk, uh, to, uh, I guess that's just rephrasing it, phrasing it horrible. <laughs> as a person, I want to phrase it to a police officer that I think that the community and police really need to start working together. Oh, I totally agree. And, I mean, and I'm, I'm talking about not uh, like even out of command structure. I mean, I'm completely serious about that. Out of uh, out of the command structure um, is is obviously the route that needs to be taken because the community and the police department obviously have not a line of intolerance but a border. And it's, it's met with force and brutality and hate and anger. And there, I mean, like it's it's a. It's, you know, like, you, you guys have a reliance on communication as well as everybody else. We are not speaking to each other anymore. The community and officers are not speaking to each other in, on, like, on a personable level anymore. And, like, when that We happens, have, though, right? We have, well, but you. on the same, at the same time, like... <laughs> oh, you mean, I, like, the I'm, command, the, like, chief, No, I'm, just, I'm talking about, like, I, I want, like... In the like, streets, just like... Like, in, in the streets, yeah. yeah. Like, back was in the old days where the cops yeah. would walk, and, like, hey, how you the doing? Beat, hey, what's... The you know, yeah, yeah but, like, when, when the, the police knew their people, they were like, hey, you know, oh, hey, yo, oh, Joe, I'm not taking you to jail hey, tonight, because, you know, I just know that you your wife just, you know, cheated on you with, with Gary across the street. Well, that's like, a whole lot of in-depth information. Like, you know, like, but that's the thing that the police used to... They, yeah. they were, you know, protectors of their, their flock, you know? And now it seems like it's just a bunch of wolves surrounding, you know, a bunch of sheep that uh, are trying to self-govern themselves because that's what they believe in. I wish I could sit down and have a beer with you and discuss this whole thing. I really wish awesome? I could do that. That would be awesome, but I can't. <laughs> but I understand what you're saying, and I hope that's not everyone's perception of the police. That is, a, that's, that's the best way I could put it. Like, people, like, the worst is, is F the police. Well, I'll tell you this, that's, I, that's live here, I, live here in this I live here in the city of Oakland, and all my neighbors know I'm a police officer, and I don't seem to have a problem with any of my neighbors, and they don't seem to have a problem with me. And I think the only, the, only, the, only time, the only time my neighbors or anyone that lives in my neighborhood has a problem is when people break the law and try to take our stuff or try to vandalize our homes or our cars or try to mess with our children. And then yes, then we want the police to show up. So, my when biggest thing is like... We're protesting, we don't... No, want but uh, no, no one's bothering you tonight, right? We, we, we just got stormed. Dude, the, I got yeah, hit three yeah, times by an uh, aggro cop that... Uh, um, they like hit a girl that, and like threw a bike at... You, well, you saw the whole thing that happened. Tonight? Yeah. yeah. Where? On 9th in uh, Washington, was that the street that's parallel to the street? Um, yeah, 9th in Washington. Yeah, he the little like, clubby. I, I was on the sidewalk, and the girl was on the sidewalk, and she was facing me. Did they like, take her to jail? No. no. And they and okay, but like check this out. Like she was facing this way, and recording this way, with her camera. Did they I was facing did this they have way. these things on? I don't know. These are what these are. These are little cameras. Mm -hmm. Every time the police come in contact with people, they turn them on. Not every time. You know, there's certain well, times. Well, his like he got so, he got restrained by three officers. Like they pulled him back because he he swung on her, hit her, and she wasn't even looking at him. Decked like where and, did he hit her? Like, like he just he, went at her, decked her. Oh, I know you guys are totally but, yeah, against I, asking I, yeah, information, but, but by policy, I have to ask you. Since you guys witnessed the use of force on 19 Washington, can I get your information? I didn't witness it. I, I, I would ask you to repeat that for me again. That, By policy, since you're I mean, stating I mean, you observed the, 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 the internal affairs number, please. Oh, okay. Uh, well, you'd rather give it to internal affairs? Yes, please. Okay. The internal affairs is actually right directly across over here in Frank Gallo Plaza on the left-hand side. Okay. And uh, if you want to call them, their number is 238-3161. 
238. Um, do you want me to write it down for you? Yeah. And then um, that's probably, I, and the only reason I'm giving you this is because you said you don't want to give me your information. So. Well, it's, it's a weird world right now, sir. I know, you just don't trust me, which is fine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> which is fine. But I have to, I just have to ask because some of the stuff you're disclosing per policy, I have to try at least yeah. to attempt your, to get your information. Can I get a SIM card? Uh, Sorry. Here, it's on the back Romeo, 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 John. I like to think it's. I, th I like to think it's my John. personality. Why everyone remembers me? John. No, no, no. Keep going. Jim. You're close. Jim. There you go. Jim, Jim Jimmy. Jim. I'm also known as Jimmy. I knew. It. I knew. It. You did. Really? Pisces intuition. Ooh, you got it, it girl. Too. You got it. Uh -huh. I'm trying to think. Uh, remember his name? I was like, he's a John. <laughs> John, <laughs> just John like Smith. <laughs> John Beer. Just I saw it, but no. But so, um, Mr. Alex is kind of. It was in response, yeah. It was in response to her friend who got pushed down to Oh, the guy with the tattoo of the kiss mark on his neck? No, I don't think so. Yeah, can you raise all my units? John, I, I was uh, involved with trying to like, help up from getting hit from the excessive force. He's an uh, uh, elderly gentleman. What's going on? He's, uh, he's, you gotta go. He's, yeah, man, we gotta go. Can you give me this real quick? I just need that shrimp. Sorry. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get the shrimp. Sorry. I think that's in the box top of my head. But if not, you can call the non emergency number, they'll give it to you, okay? Thank you. You guys have a safe night. Nice talking to you. And I, hey, I learned something. What is it called? The NDA? NDA, Google it. And SOPA. It, which, SOPA is silly because they already have the, the rights of shutting down people that are kind of proper. Hey, I'm going to do it like Where are you going? Come on, let's do this. So Jesus, I see you made it out. So explain to everybody who you are. What's up, sir? How you doing? Oh, yeah. uh, you know, I was gonna have a nice right. evening playing Skyrim and fucking yeah, eating gummy worms, and then I saw people getting chased through the streets hey, by cops. So I was like, I guess I better, better come out, out or at least fucking hang out. I, I headed over here. I was at home. I was grabbing my gear. I turned. I don't know what they're doing right now. It looks like they're hanging out. I mean, looks like they're leaving. I know the cops are. Well, yeah, they're leaving because nobody's doing anything. Kick that shit. You know, I don't. I won't say I kicked it. Just one day at a time, kind of. It's been for years. Oh. Uh, so What's that name? Huh? What's that name? It's just interesting that she used that word.
That's just my personal opinion. I understand what you're saying. Mm -hmm. I'm not I asked him why they're here. He's like, oh, And you know, that's part of why we're out here. I don't think they're Hi, my loves. Hello. Part of How are you? There's been some unfair shit in this town, right? I mean, Oh no, I was talking to Officer Spencer the other day and I told him the same thing, like, as somebody who pays taxes to be protected and served, like, I'm more afraid of the police than I am in a group full of strangers. I just felt like I was illegally detained in Oakland, in for Oakland. streaming. In Oakland, in a bunch of strangers in Oakland, man. Well, no, my thing is that like, I do agree that we need police, I agree, but... Like when my mother's house was robbed, where, where somebody attempted to break into her house, excuse me, while she was home over Christmas, and she, it was like one o'clock in the morning, she was in her bedroom, she lives by herself, 50 something years old, she calls the police, they don't have resources to send anyone to her home, and then when but then we have all this. I'm like, that, those are my building, issues, you know what I mean? I, I think it's pretty rational. Riot cops come out. Her mom was in danger, you feel me? Like that's just that's unbelievable. It's the Maxwell Park that's neighborhood. I even spoke at city response, council and directly addressed Desley Brooks, who lives right around the corner. Like that, whether whether you're allowed to say it or not. I, I, I don't ever really get responses, no matter how much I email um, even the internal affairs department of of Well I agree. We, this takes this takes a lot right. of resources. But it at does. the same time like like I was telling them, there's elements in this in this yeah. group that were bent on destruction. So we have to have some people here to deal but with. Why, it. But why why is why is a broken window more important than her mom's life? Well it that it's not. That's but, right, but but I understand that you as a human being can say that it's not. But you as an organization, and I'm not saying you particularly, sir, but you as an organization have determined that her mom's life is much less important based on police response than an abandoned building at 526 well, I, I don't know Street. if I can make that comparison. I understand that, but, but I'm making saying, that comparison. But what I am saying is that, yes, sometimes it takes the police longer than we would like for, some, for, for response for anything, regardless of whether there's a protest going on or not. Let's say there's no protest, and the police are still show the response at time, but that's because of the various things that are going on in the city of Oakland. All right, do we I have enough resources that. to deal with that? Absolutely not. So I understand. No. That. And it's the manpower issue, and that's that's that's. No, no, so totally. How do, you, how do you how do you not have the resources to deal with? Because all of a sudden there, there was enough manpower for tonight. What are you doing right now? Right? How do you not have the resources to do that, but you can afford hundreds of police officers? Because this is. When there's some sort of plan event. There's a window might get broken. No, no, no. But listen, when there's a plan event, when there's a mass demonstration, when you have a bunch of people here, you have to have it the same amount of procedure. Well, there's a response. Then you bring officers in from who don't normally work the streets yeah. to come here and deal with that system. You see what I'm saying? So some of these officers who would normally be on their days off, all right, which all officers are afforded days off just like any other job, now they have to come in and they'll come in and have to deal with a, a situation like this. That's why. That's why you guys see the numbers that are here, and it seems like we have a bunch of officers here. That's not the case. On a normal day, these officers may be on their days off. You see what I'm saying? It rotates. That's the reason why you see a bunch of officers here now. So but some how, you'll see that usually works the building, investigators. Some you'll see that. You don't see what I'm saying? Like, why can't you call in people when there's people that are in, in danger? You mean the same normals, the normal, same numbers, yeah. and do that because. You feel me? Like why is why is a broken window? It's not. Or a slashed tire. It's not. More important. But you won't get the same numbers because the officers are afforded the days off. You can't. That's officers will get burned out if you keep. Someone has to have days off at some point. You know what I mean? You can't work well, forever. Um, no, so, and I understand so it. Let me ask priority. you a question. Okay, go ahead. All right, go ahead. Well, no, I want to ask you a question. It's more specific to the raid the other night. Um, I'm a college student. I'm an Oakland resident. A friend of mine. She actually just left because she's like, I don't want to go to jail. And the same day that I just got released. So she went home. Um, but her sister just graduated, graduated from law school. I'm the top speaker. I'm the top speaker in open parliamentary debate. I'm on my way to law school. She's on her way to law school. We were sitting here having a conversation about how the class structure in America was organically created during the colonization period. And it happened to run a little late, but we were deeply, obviously, engrossed in a, con a conversation of that, of that nature. And all of a sudden, 17 police cars came up, and the police jumped out, similarly dressed to how they are tonight. And <clears throat> they, we were aggressively escorted. Here.
in a condition of cold weather, there's probably a, a thing to where they can wear a jacket over it, and if you ask him, you can just do that. I've seen it before. I don't know if it's technical. Gray area. Right. But it's probably something about cold weather. These are the things that I'm saying that it's a little bit much, and it's not like she was breaking the law. She was in compliance. You see what I'm saying? And it's not like she's some crazy anarchist radical. She's a college student that's very interested in American law in our society. And so I'm wondering, like, what can we do? Yeah, it was right here. It happened right there on that corner. Um, Officer S. Kim was the one who arrested her, actually. So I'm like, what exactly are we to do as citizens when things of that nature happen and the Internal Affairs Department is very unresponsive? And then we continue to face this. That actually was a lot of the reason for this march today. Well, you guys got a right to make complaints at any time. It doesn't matter. At any time. But what do we do when internal affairs is not responsible? Have you called them again and contacted them again? They have to be. Do you know where they are? They're right there. You guys got to go to I would, but then I'm like trying to build this. Who do we go to when they, when they don't do that? I get there a higher up that we can do. There's also a, a, a police advisory group. You guys want to play? Because I'm going to fart for the camera. I'll fart for the camera. Thank you so much. Fuck the police. Hey, who heard us? Because I want answers for that. Sir. That's a few. Who <laughs> did you? Didn't you? I'm going to uh, YouTube. He did, didn't he? He heard us. Because I was right in there. I'm at him. I was cheap in every part of the name of the video. Uh, no, no. I don't know no, what's no, no. going to be doing. So, huh? During Rostin, I was sitting there cheating. Yeah. And they tried to tear my neck. Oh, wow. Khalid, Khalid was filming us as we were walking out. And he got arrested for filming us outside of the courtroom. <coughs> so, basically, to understand, these courtrooms are worse than a fucking library. In a library, a librarian will kindly ask you to please be quiet. <laughs> In a courtroom, a bailiff will try and stomp your ass if you are fucking giggling or coughing. So or raising your fist. Or raising your fist. So be silent. Yeah, basically, like it's as fascist as it fucking gets. Come dressed up in your best, most ridiculous suit to help, uh, you know, reflect the ridiculousness of the situation. But please, come support people here at Occupy Oakland. We need everything you can get. And this is a call out to every single occupation right now. I'm, I'm working on a proposal to try and propose a national bail fund, national anti-repression fund, but beyond that, almost our own bail bond company. But Occupy Oakland is stretched too thin to actually come up with this right now, to actually work on this, because we're barely dealing with two actions, Longview and this building occupation, as well as everything else, and everybody getting arrested. So please, anybody who's in any other Occupy, who I know you're all, we're all dealing with some crazy shit right now, but if you can help us try and create a national defense fund, a national bail fund, it would do a lot to help us out. We also need more lawyers down here in the Bay. Yeah, on much Friday, more lawyers. On Friday, a lot of people, instead of being able to have their bail uh, dropped, lowered a little bit, because we had no lawyers, they basically were given the straight $5,000 bail for obstructing a public thoroughfare, right? Which is less than soliciting a prostitute and helping another more, person. More than soliciting a prostitute. Yeah, it's, no, I mean, for more soliciting bail. a prostitute, you get $2,500 bail. Which, for yeah. obstructing a public Fuck thoroughfare, you get $5,000. There's something Sex fucked up Sex workers unite, take back but, the night. Anyway, please talk to all your people. We need a national defense fund. We need more lawyers here in the Bay. I know there's a lot of lawyers, but honestly, I don't see any Berkeley cats coming out and helping us out. So I'm calling out to Berkeley people to get off their bougie asses and actually help us out. Because otherwise, all they have, all they is is some liberal progressives who vote for Obama and don't do shit otherwise. That's right. So you know there's actually right. right. where's Obama now? We're getting fucking the events right. committee going off. I love, so I love it. I love it. It may even be speculation. I love it. it may even be speculation, but what I don't is? think it, that it's over. What I'm thinking is happening is like the beginning of a shift change because you notice everybody just left and there are steadily more cars pulling up. So it's not like they're leaving. They're being replaced is what it's looking like. So it's speculation. I don't know for sure. I'm not listening to a radio or no shit like that. They're not but, using regular channels. Right. They're not so using I'm, regular channels. Too. Right. So, well, they know that we've been listening. Like they've been monitoring us. So. 
you know, I'm just saying to everybody, be aware. I don't think that this is over. I think that this is the, maybe the calm before the storm, quite possibly. I'm not hey, sure. just an update, guys. Congress dot. Wait a minute. Congress dot com. Uh, I checked that out. They don't have one for California yet. Congress dot dot com. Organize with your people. Get to DC. Occupy Congress. And if you're on the East Coast and you don't make it to Occupy Congress, there's hundreds of us coming from the West Coast, if not thousands, and get your lazy asses into DC. Yeah. It already is a fucking train ride away. It's a, uh, it's, it's a freaking train ride away, and I'm taking a freaking plane. Cars, you know, what is it? Trains, planes, and automobiles. Get in your, get off your asses and get to DC. I know it's winter time. Wear your freaking ski gear because you know you all have some. Uh, so yeah, get off your asses. I, well, like see, I checked out the Occupy site. I, 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 what I could see, they didn't have a, uh, I was laughing. There's a California bus going yet. There's no sign of No, there, there is a California bus leaving from San Diego. I know for sure. Uh, but San Diego's a ways. I know, but still, uh, we can set one up from the Bay Area. We can set one up from the Bay Area. I will say, um, just a quick update, there's also, there's not just one building occupation being planned. planned. There's the main building occupation that's coming out of the GA. There's also, the feminist of the queer block is talking about taking their own building. Um, and I think that there's going to be a lot of talk about that tomorrow at the event that's happening. Right on. Yeah, which I'm super stoked on because they actually go out of the, um, okay, so at back at the camp there was a bunch of um, women and trans and queer folks who formed this in a sort of, uh, Mutual self-defense society um, to keep each other safe from a lot of shit that was happening in the camp. And then we didn't have a camp anymore. They were like, well, we still want a space. You know, we still want a space to like do this good work. And um, they're trying to get their own space to do their own occupation as a split off, aside from the big one that's happening on the 28th. I don't know too much about that. Hopefully, we'll help you guys too much stuff about that. What's going on? What are those kids up to? And then I give it. I don't even know. Yeah. Okay. Kane. Yeah. Somebody said you were actually hitting the face with a with a yeah bean bag. I, I don't know what it was. Um, all I know is I got a few stitches, and I was told that the nurse, when she looked at it, she said it was a weird looking wound because it was round with a bunch of little tiny holes like punctures, and then there was just one big puncture like laceration. So you're carrying. Came. People were trying to get you away, and so tell. Oh wait, like, yeah, start from the beginning and like, just tell everybody what happened to you. I was hold, helping um, hold the fuck the police banner. We had moved up to the front line to keep the police. You know, I was right there. I was right there filming. Right, right. So you know, we went up there. So you should tell them. And the police started moving forward, um, forward towards us. And I had suggested to everybody else that we not break up, so that we just move back with them. You know, keep a few steps ahead of them. We did that. Somebody set a fire. You know, we got the sign. They backed us up to where the sign was over the fire. All hell broke loose. And pretty much everybody took off. I had my walking stick that I always carried. They told me to back up. I was going as fast as I could. He hit me, one of them hit me with the baton. My walking stick fell, and then they told me to drop the stick. And it went from there. Um, one of the cops came at me with the baton again after everything was pretty much over. One of the other cops said, Don't do it, we'll get him later. Just let it, be. he's good. And it was over. Um, they took one of the when medics. When did they hit you? When did they beat you up? Like when I was backing up. Oh, okay. They said apparently oh, I wasn't shit. going fast enough oh, for shit. them. I don't know. And you're disabled, oh, right? Okay. Right. You're disabled, like it's just a hurry up, yeah. Hey, were you on the left side of the, the sign? Were you holding the left side? The cup? I was holding the yeah. sign that had, yeah, the key. Oh, yeah. I think you're on the left side. I was like on the left side here, yeah. Yeah. Okay, we kept telling you to like, hurry up. It's like, oh shit, sorry. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, it's okay because what they did tonight, you know, it, it was wrong. But, you know, at least I'm still alive. Yeah. And I'm back here. You know, I mean, that's all I really care about. Um, it pisses me off that they did it. Um, they refused to get me any medical treatment. Um, we asked, the medics were asking for them to call because when they called 911, 911 said to call the fire department, they weren't going to come down there. Or, or have the cops call it in, and they wouldn't do it. Um, 
they took one of the medics for trying to help me, that was helping me walk. Um, finally, one of the cops did call for the ambulance they showed up to. Right on. Thanks, buddy. We actually talked to Cincinnati before the march even happened tonight. Um, so, you know, before. I just, I didn't know when, because a couple of times when the police have been here, um, people have come up to me and told me that the cops were talking about a man with a black uh, beanie on when I was the only one that had it on. The man with the stick. You know, they look at me. It was just a matter of time. Hopefully now, it's over, and I won't go through it again. Right on, so let's go ahead and name it the vigil here. This is why I don't believe Twitter rumors. This is why I don't believe rumors. Because apparently OPD was passing here, and there are two freaking cars. <laughs> so, so uh, rumor busted. Let's just, let's just hit a lap. There's two cars. And we actually just heard uh, an officer tell there's only 200 cops 50 feet away. So, actually, they might be very close. But they are not a 16th of Bravo. We're just running recon right now around City Hall to try and see where OPD is. We don't see them at 16th and San Pablo, but we are now approaching 16th and Clay. If you're following on Google, uh, Google Maps at home, as I know many of you do. <laughs> there's, a, there's this one guy uh, who tweets me and he's like, dude, I mapped out the room and you guys went around the block like eight times, man. And I'm like, great. And he's like, yes, dude, we did. He's like, yo, I highlighted it in everything. So, four cops are on clay. Oh, please don't beat my car. But, yeah, police officer did just say, and I overheard him say, I don't know if about 200 cops about 50 feet away. Uh, I don't see them 50 feet away, but nevertheless, they're around. Of course, if, and, and OPD is watching the stream right now, that's guaranteed. And, and what I have to say to OPD is, Dudes, there's like 40 people left. Go solve some freaking crime. <laughs> there's 40 people in the freaking plaza. Go do something productive. Because honestly, it would take literally about 30 cops to just come handle this right And go do something productive. There's shit going down somewhere in Oakland that you guys could be doing something about. Rather than sitting around and waiting and rolling around, Regarding, regarding Wasting taxpayers' money. I mean, come on. Like, what, what is, is that? Damn freaking. To whatever, to whatever officer or sergeant or lieutenant is watching this, come do something. Nobody around here is doing anything. They're just mulling around in the freaking plaza. Some people are sleeping. And. Oh, he's sitting on Clay Street and 14th. How you doing? Video games are tech. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, an officer was on his phone with his like like thumbing away, and I was like, "Video games are tech." And he was like, "Find it, pop it." <laughs> I didn't even put him on camera. I should have put his ass on camera. Some numbers around, but they're definitely 
Recon behind recon? In case we got nabbed, you guys could run up and film. Come on, Spencer, you know I totally Ustream stalk you. Like, no, don't fucking Bella, Bella just admitted to Ustream stalking me. <laughs> yeah, I Ustream stalk Spencer. To all the, to all the, please don't beat me. To all the men out there that love her, eat your heart out. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? I have a wild crush on Spencer. <laughs> She's lying. She's lying. Bella. <laughs> That the city is killing. That the city is killing. Gene Kwan, stop killing the oak tree. Gene Kwan. Yeah, yeah. And so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the numbers that you guys need to be calling again. Um, hey, tree sit. Hey, tree sit. Probably it's it's Where was it was I don't know. Tree sit. It's fucking cold. There's some Oh, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the numbers you need to call. Free occupiers of the prison. But when you call Team Quan, I want you to mention stop killing our freaking tree. Why are you making a big deal? Why are you making a big deal? Why are you stop killing our tree? Like, first time, I said like, I'm not going to Like, someone went near the tree and just like 30, 40 people. No! Fuck away from the tree! Get the fuck away from my goddamn tree, you pigs! <laughs> <laughs> Go, teardrop! This is teardrop. They think they're with the shit because they're going on shift tanks. <laughs> well, I got them shift no tanks. They back there playing Angry Birds. We heard they back there playing <laughs> Pinochle. Angry Birds. Angry Birds. Oh, 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 I got the new one. The new game is Bacon Ends. That's the new game. Well, you no. lay all the pigs in a row and see how many it takes to get to the end. That's what Angry Birds <laughs> is. They use pigs, there are no birds, to like knock the pigs down. Yes, yes, yes. You guys got some grub? You guys got some grub?